Oh! During the autonomous period, the first 15 seconds, the robots can get the easiest points just for movement. Three points for leaving their community. However, if they go too far and cross over that white line, they can incur additional penalties for their team. 829 going way out of bounds for their autonomous period, scoring extra penalties. 3940 unfazed by that and have continued to score for their alliance. 2171 making use of their grabber mechanism that looks like tongs, making their grab for a cube and moving it over to their grid. They're making their way up to that center part, scoring three points for their alliance. The higher they score, the more points they'll find for their team. 3940, that's Cybertooth, your current second raid scene, hoping to maintain that position. They're wanting to get a four rank point match with is still on the table as long as they get enough points both on the grid, winning, and scoring. 829, digital codes, although they went rogue during Autonomous, have been able to score pretty beautifully throughout the match, maneuvering now to place a cone in the high part of their grid. Each game piece scored up there is worth five points for their alliance. Remember, it doesn't matter what game piece is scored, but where. 4580 also demonstrating now how to place a Kona for their alliance. They're about to complete a link where a link is three game pieces scored horizontally across the grid. Since they were able to successfully place that cone, they gain an additional link for their alliance. They need five of those for a ranking point, which is what matters here in the qualification matches. The score is currently 107 to 71 in favor of your red alliance, but there are still plenty of points remaining in this match. 1741, that's Red Alert, making their way grindingly across the field, making use of the loading zone and their human players to green game pieces onto the field. They successfully placed their cube into the center of their grid onto that node, scoring three points for their alliance. Those human players are sitting ready to deliver those game pieces behind their player station in the loading dock area. As we move to the end game, we just have 20 seconds remaining. We'll see teams making their way towards their charge stations. They want to make sure those are in a level configuration to score most amount of points for their team. The Blue Alliance is going to need it at this moment to catch up. We'll have to see just how many points they can rack up. If it gets balanced or engaged, just like the Blue Alliance has been able to do, they can get 10 points for a robot. The Red Alliance matching them. We'll have to see how these scores total up for qualification match 55. Here are your scores, qualification match 55. Your winners are the Red Alliance. The ranking scores are 148 to Blue Alliance is 99. The Red Alliance successfully getting those four ranking points they're wanting, allowing all teams in the Red Alliance to move up and allow 3940, that's Cybertooth, to maintain their second ranking position.